as you can see, yeah, he had a lot of brothers and a lot of sisters. We have a big family. And that day he pulled that trigger. He didn't only kill my son, he killed all of us. Now on Local 5 News at 6, an emotional day in Outagamie County Court. Many family members of the teenager killed in last year's shooting at the Fox River Mall called for justice to be served. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Tom Zalaski. And I'm Michelle McCormack. It's been a year and one day since the shooting at the Fox River Mall. On January 31st of last year, several police agencies swarmed the mall after reports of gunshots and people wounded. Police later identified the then 17-year-old Desmond Ellis as a suspect. U.S. Marshals helped arrest Ellis four days later at a home in Des Moines, Iowa. One person, as it turns out, suffered minor injuries from the shooting, but 19-year-old Giovanni Frosto died from his wounds. Evidence shows the accused and the victim argued over a girl they both dated. Frosto's mother told Local 5 that phone call about the shooting changed her life forever. Giovanni was Tanya Frosto's oldest son. She remembers him as a caring person who loved music and his family. She regrets not having just one more time to see him and has been hoping now for more than a year that justice would be served. To say the least, it was an emotional day in court. Tempers flared before and after Ellis received a lengthy prison sentence. And Local 5's Paul Stino brings us the latest from the Outagamie County Justice Center. Paul? Tom, Michelle, Desmond Ellis faces 40 years in prison and will also have 25 years of extended supervision once he gets out of prison for his role in the shooting of the Fox River Mall last winter that left Giovanni Frosto dead and one other person with injuries. It was definitely an emotional day here in Outagamie County Court with tensions rising throughout the afternoon. Multiple people were kicked out of the courthouse for making comments at inappropriate times. There was heated arguments between supporters of both Ellis and Frosto after the judge read out the sentence. Several people had to be held back by police. The attempts, the arguments spilled over to outside in the parking lot where police officers had to separate people. Giovanni Frosto has a large family and many of them provided witness impact statements today, including his mother and father. Everybody emphasizing how much the, Giovanni's murder ruined their family and their hope that Desmond Ellis would face a life sentence. Ellis and his defense attorney argued that Frosto had been threatening Ellis for months before the shooting, so much so that Ellis had to purchase a gun to protect himself. At the mall, Ellis said that Frosto was following him and he feared for his safety. Prosecutors said this is no justification for lethal force. Since you are a child, kindergarten, preschool, you're taught to how to treat people, how to be kind to people, how not to hurt people. And it seems Desmond has no clue. Had he had a clue, he wouldn't have pulled that trigger. I pray to God and I ask for forgiveness, and I hope one day Giovanni's family can forgive me for my mistakes so their family could be at peace. But once again, to Cole and to Giovanni's family, I'm sorry. Officers do tell us that one person was taken into custody for acting aggressively and arguing after the sentence was heard. The police officer said that there hadn't been a decision made whether that person would stay into custody, stay in custody or whether they would be released once they cooled down a little bit. For now, the live from Outagamie County, Paul Sino, Local 5 News. Thank you, Paul.